What energy do we need today? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Renee Olson. I am the new server witch and I am here with your signal card pull. We are starting out our day. Nice cup of tea and a, we're going to call it a cup of positivity, right? Um, today is the 21st of August. Um, we are midweek. Uh, just going to remind you about the vlog that's going to be published on Friday. We're going to be doing a look at Hair Magic Revealed, so be sure you tune in for that. Um, so let's get started with our card. Nice cup of Rubio's for today. I'm going to remove our hair top and we're going to pull our first card. I always say first card. No idea why yet. Do you do that when you're doing reading? This is our first card. Very curious about that. So I'm going to show you our card. The card for today is the tobacco leaf. Uh, the tobacco leaf keywords are heritage, sacrifice, and tradition. So if we think about this card, um, you cannot be raised in the South at all and not have known somebody, at least back in the day, who worked in tobacco. Um, and if, I mean, our school years were around the tobacco season. Um, the kids from high school would work on their parents' farm. And they would go out and harvest tobacco. Um, and it was a job. I mean, they, they worked in the fields um, at, all through the summer, through the last part of the summer as fall uh, started to roll in. Our school years were even postponed sometimes if the tobacco harvest was late. Um, the South has a history of being built on tobacco. I mean, we have streets that are named after it. Um, cigarette industry is huge here. There's Winston-Salem. It's not a coincidence. <laughs> There's Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Um, and so forth that are just focused on tobacco. Um, tobacco also has a cultural aspect. Um, if we look at some, um, and I'm gonna be very, very, I'm painting with a broad brush here, broad stroke. Um, there are a lot of uh, native cultures that will give tobacco as a offering to the spirits or to their deity that um, as this sort of sacrifice to them. Um, so when we're looking at our keywords, heritage, um, we want to look back at those people or those uh, energies that we want to pay respects to. Um, this is energy that comes from either people we're directly related to or those that may have inhabited our lands that we lived on, that we're living on now. Um, they may have left through their own accord or through forced relocation, which we know was very prevalent here in the rural South. Um, our next key word is sacrifice. So when we think about sacrifice, a lot of people think about offerings or they think about what you're giving up. Um, sacrifice is not something that should be easy. It's something that you want to have, but you're giving it up in order to make ways for something else. Um, if we think about it from a biblical perspective, immediately we think about Abraham. If we think about it from a, um, a human perspective, right? So we're thinking about some people. We think about maybe those groups of people that move from their home country. They give up everything they have in order for to come to the United States for a better life. Um, and our final word today is tradition. Tradition is something that's passed from family to family or from generation to generation where you spend your time. Maybe it's having a meal around the harvest time, you know, Mavin's coming up. Maybe it is getting together around Yule, or if you celebrate Christmas, the Christian version of Yule. Um, and please, I know you have opinions about that and about, you know, all of our holidays are pagan. You can certainly leave it in the comments, but give me a little bit of latitude here um, when I say the Christian version of Yule. Um, but those traditions can be passed down or you can make your own traditions. You know, you don't have to follow the mold. We are human beings that learn and grow. It's okay to say, you know what, when I said this, I was speaking from a different level of knowledge. Now I've learned and I'm ready to move forward with this new path. Um, make your own traditions, make your own way in this world. It's all about growth. It's all about acceptance and diversity. 
Um, so that's our card for today. I'm gonna hold it up for you again. It is the tobacco leaf. It is from the River Witch Oracle, which is available on my website at nooseriverwitch.com. If you have questions or comments, did you work in tobacco? Were you someone who was out there sweating in the fields? Um, you know, were you part of, do you have a tradition? Do you have sacrifices you wanna share? Feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget to tune in, like I said, for the vlog that's coming later in the week. And uh, have a glorious day. And I hope to hear from you soon.